the mic for some questions. How's everybody doing? Y'all can talk to me. How's everybody doing? <laughs> good. All right, good. I, I, I was thinking walking down the hall there, I was thinking back when I recruited TJ Yeldon. Uh, I think the final selling point on him was, was we said, hey, TJ, you know, Coach Saban don't let the freshmen talk to the media. Uh, he was like, well, I'm all in on that. That's kind of the way it is with the coaches. No disrespect to you guys, but uh, I'm excited to be back. Um, you know, I grew up in Rainsville, Alabama. It's two hours from here. My family's still there. My wife's family's in Troy. Uh, it's very easy for us. Uh, got a lot of fond memories here at Alabama. I think this is my 10th year counting as a player, a graduate assistant, and six years with Coach Previous. Uh, this year would be my seventh year with him. Uh, Alabama's a very special to me. It's easy to, uh, to walk into a, a young man's house and to sail the University of Alabama. When you grow up in this state, you kind of got to pick a side. And in my family, I chose Alabama. My dad chose Auburn. So, but I, I think I'm trying to bring him on our side now. But I'm excited to be here. You know, the, the first day that I came back, I think it was maybe December 11th or, or 12th, it happened to be graduation. So I've been gone for three years. I walk in here and it's actually graduation. A lot of guys that I had spent a lot of time helping recruit, watching these guys graduate, I walk in and, and I look and I see some of the parents I hadn't seen in three years. Um, so it's, it's kind of what this place is all about. I'm very thankful for Coach Saban, you know, starting out as a high school coach. Um, you know, a lot of guys ask me when I go speak at clinics, how did how'd you get where you're at? And, to me, it's, it's really a stroke of luck. I just try to do the best that the jobs that I had. Uh, very fortunate that Coach gave me an opportunity. Uh, had, and, and worked in a lot of different roles here, you know, from the weight room to, to academics, player development, just doing what I could to try to help the organization. But learned a lot of football in the six years that I was here before. Coach gave me the opportunity to uh, be the defensive back coach. Uh, I'm very thankful for him for that. You know, when I left here three years ago, uh, I went to Florida State, and, and it was a real easy transition for me because Jimbo Fisher had worked with Coach Saban, uh, practice schedules, his philosophy, everything was very similar. Um, you know, and, and for me, for a first job as a defensive coordinator, that made it really easy. You got to work for really good people, uh, really good players. Uh, had not won a national championship from there, going to Georgia, working with Coach Rick. Probably for the last two years, I learned as much about being a man from him as, as anything. Uh, very, very thankful for the opportunity that he gave me. He gave me. Uh, the one thing about in this business about moving, you get in this business to, to have a positive impact on kids. Uh, my first job, I tell guys in recruiting, you're probably not going to find any defensive coordinator in America that his first job, he was a K through third grade PE teacher done that for three years. You're just not going to find that. Um, and, and, you know, my family has a history of educators, and, and to me that's what it's about to players. But unfortunately in this business we do have to, there is transition, you know, so that's that's the tough part. But it was good to get back to see some of the, the old faces, the Ryan Andersons, the, the uh, Dalvin Tomlinsons, uh, Big Shane, just guys that, kind of involved in recruiting, so it's fun. It's fun to be back in the building. Unfortunately, there's some folks that were here before um, that's not here now. Um, yeah, every day I see Miles, I may get a little emotional here, I see Miles, uh, you know, name on the plaque there. So, excuse me, I'm sorry. But you got people that, that poured into this program, so um, it, it, this means a lot to the people in this state and it's a very special place to me. Uh, we've got some changes on our defensive staff. Um, you know, Carl Dunbar will coach the defensive line. Tosh LePoy is still here coaching the house side linebackers, and Derek Ansley is now coaching the defensive backs. That's three guys that, that the first thing they're going to do is put their, their kids' um, good intentions. I mean, everything, they're, they're going to make the kids work hard. Um, they're going to buy into the program. And, and, and really good guys. I, I think we've got a good staff here. You know, talking about this year's defense, this is the 2016 defense. It's not 2015, 13. 
you know, 9, 10, this is 2016, you know, our kids are kind of, they're buying into the fact that we've not done anything. And, you know, that sometimes, you know, I was here before when we, we had some success, uh, you know, we won a championship in, in 9, and the next year we couldn't hardly get over ourselves. Uh, 2011, we had a little better transition that we, we, we'd experienced before and uh, understood the growing pains. We, we've got to, we've got to get over ourselves. That's over with now. So we're trying to create our identity for this year's team, um, creating the right practice habits, uh, the right mental toughness, being relentless competitors. Uh, we have experience at all three levels on our defense. We've got some guys coming back on the defensive front. We've got some guys at the outside linebacker that's played a lot of games. Inside linebacker, and we got some guys in the secondary. We're trying to create some depth on our defense right now. And one thing that we keep stressing to these guys is nobody cares about what plays you made last year. It's all about this year. So we're, we're starting every day uh, talking about eating just one rep at a time. Let's get better one rep at a time. Okay. Start over here with Aaron.